Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be unboxing these new Camellia markers that I just bought. And I also plan on doing um, an Easter type of drawing with you guys. So, I just got these from Michaels. Let me move all the stuff out the way. So, Michaels, Saturday, they had this. They sent a 60% off coupon. And I was like, I got to go take advantage of it. I had no clue what I wanted to get from there. And to be honest, I've seen so many reviews and I've seen videos on like Facebook and ads and stuff like that of these Camellia markers and they never appealed to me. Um, for some reason, they just didn't appeal to me. I don't know. Um, but as I was looking through Michael's, I was actually torn between getting these and getting their... Um, I think they're called, I believe they're Artist Loft. Mark, so Artist Loft is Michael's brand, their home brand. And um, they have like illustrator markers now, which are like, you know, comparable to like Copics. They have brush tips. So I was either, I was contemplating getting a huge set. It wasn't even a huge set, guys. I think it was like maybe 36 markers, but they were regular price, 70 bucks. And with the coupon the 60 percent coupon they would have came into like 30 something but i decided not to get those because i felt like the color selection wasn't that good and i just decided to try these instead and the reason why is because i know for a fact that these are refillable so i just thought it would be fun to get these and i solely got these just to show you guys because i know that a lot of you guys who have been watching my um marker videos you've been really interested and in, you guys ask a lot of questions about you know um alternatives to like copics and whatnot and I, that's why i really wanted to get that artist loft brand but i just decided not to if you guys want i'll review like a smaller set but to me like i didn't feel like that was a good enough value even though the coupon would have dropped it down to like a really from 70 to like I think it was 30 bucks or something or, or 35 dollars um i just thought that these would be a better because i knew for a fact once again that they were refillable so at michael's i've never seen these at michael's so michael's they must be getting like a lot of newer things because i've been noticing a lot of different things that they never typically carry they need to start carrying daniel smith watercolors that'd be nice um but at first, I just picked up this set. And it was $26.99 regular price, I believe. And with a 60% off coupon, it knocked it down to, I want to say 11 something. Maybe 12 something. But that was a really good deal. Um, I was going to use another coupon on one of my kids. I let them pick out some sketchbooks. But I decided to get another... It was already, their sketchbooks were already on sale. So I decided to get another pack. So this one here, now that I told my daughter to just run and grab it. And she grabbed this one. And it looks like it's been opened already and possibly used. Because there's like tape here. So I might have to be returning or exchanging this depending on how it works. Alright guys, so I'm like new to Chameleon Markers. I have seen a few videos as I said before. But I've never tried them personally. So we're going to try them together. I'm going to grab some of this B Paper Company Artist Marker Paper. That um, Palafel Pack sent me in their box for March. Alright, so just looking at this packaging. I could tell that they're like extra long. They're way longer than a typical alcohol marker. So this set here, does it say? It says this is five floral tones. So there's PK2, which I'm assuming stands for pink. Pink 4, pink 5. BV, which I'm assuming it stands for blue violet 2. And then VO2, which I'm assuming stands for violet 0, 2. Alright, so on the back it says... Create stunning effects such as 3D smooth transitions, highlighting, shading, gradations, and blending, all with one pen. Each pen goes from as light as a hint of a tint 
to rich tones. So it says that they're professional quality alcohol-based ink, refillable, replaceable Japanese nibs. That's interesting. I didn't know that they had Japanese nibs. Permanent on most surfaces, compatible with other alcohol-based inks, non-toxic and low odor. So let's see. My nails are like all breaking. I don't want to break them anymore. I'm going to grab a little knife. So once again, this is their floral tone set. So there's a booklet there. I wasn't expecting that. Two booklets. This has really nice packaging. It's got this really nice black box. I'm going to adjust my lighting, guys. So, the packaging is awesome. Like, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got the chameleon color tones. It's got some tape right here on top. So, I could already tell from looking at this package and this one that this one has been opened. So, I might have to return that or exchange it. So they're all taped together. These are extra long, guys. Look at how long those are. And they actually... A gift from Chameleon. Spare Japanese super soft brush nibs. Oh, nice. So that is awesome. I wouldn't expect that from Michaels. <laughs> Let me open this because I want to see exactly... What's in here? I want to show you guys. So they do have two nibs in there. And they're tiny, like, compared to Copic. Look at how tiny those are, guys. But that's awesome that they included two of these. All right. So, so far, awesome packaging. I, I love the fact that I could use... So there's tape on the top and then this part here also. But I love the fact that I can use coupons on these. Because these are pretty pricey by themselves. So, first glance looking at them. Well, let's look at the packaging because I have no clue how to use these. I'm not going to read all this stuff. So it shows the two different ways they can be used. So it seems like a bullet nib and like maybe a brush nib. It shows like how it looks brand new and how it looks broken in. It also says that you should store in a cool dry place and not to leave it in direct sunlight. So once again, I'm not going to read all this stuff because it's too much. I want to do some drawing with you guys, so. Okay, so it does show you how to activate it and all that. It tells you about how to refill the pens and mixing chamber. It tells you about surfaces, how to achieve multiple color tones from one pen. Okay. And it says for instructional videos, you can visit www.chameleonpens.com. So that's the first little pamphlet. In the back, it shows you some ways of shading and some tips and techniques here. So that's a lot of information on one thing. That's awesome.
Okay, this is probably... Other languages, the same thing probably. All right. So let me set that aside. These things are huge. Let me just show you guys, compared to a Copic marker, how large they are. And I think that's because of the mixing chambers. So pulling off this tip here, it's got a really small nib. Let me zoom in. It says the color number here, and then here, I'm guessing is the bullet nib because it has one there. Yep, that's the other side. So the actual marker is not very tall. Probably just about the same with the cap on. This does come out. So about the same size as a Copic marker. So I guess what makes them extra tall is what this is. Guys, I'm so confused on how to use this. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the mixing chamber. And you just put them in there where the tips touch. Can you guys see that? So the tip of this is touching the tip of the brush. Let's see. I'm going to leave it for a little while. These are so weird. One of the reasons why I wasn't really drawn to these was because they seemed a little too, like too much work. Does this part come off? No. All right, so let's try it. So right off the back, it can go from very, very, very light. I don't know if you guys could see that. I wish that this brush nib was just a little bigger. It seems so small to me. All right. So let's close this up. And let's do another color. So that is V02. Let's do another color, PK2. So I'm just putting this tip I'm just really inserting into this and they're touching each other now. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see probably, but you can see the tip of that is turning light. So it's grabbing that alcohol from the blender. All right, I'm not gonna leave that one that long. You can really see the discoloration on there. Now let's see how this one looks. I'm going to do that one over because I don't think I left it long enough. So that's one of the reasons why I just wasn't drawn to these markers because it just seemed like too much work. 
But it is cool that you can get these different tones within one versus buying a ton of them. So this num this color is P K two. All right, guys. So I'm just letting that get on there good. Now let's try. There we go. So I do suggest if you want like a really light tone to let it sit for a while. So I just want to keep going till I get to like the darkest. That's cool. Let's do another color. These are so different. Like it's a really cool concept though. I think that you guys can really obtain this though. You can get the same kind of effect possibly with one of your blender markers and another alcohol based alcohol based marker. I'm gonna have to try that with one of my Copics. To see if we can get that same effect. So while that's absorbing that, let's write P. K4 for this one. Let's try this one. This is a really pretty pink. I should let that one sit a little longer. So my first impression of these, the ink doesn't seem very juicy like most alcohol-based markers. It kind of felt as if, like towards like when I got towards the end, that the marker was kind of dying out. Here's PK5. I think these will be awesome for coloring books because of the really tiny nib. We're going to see how they work today in our um, drawing. To fill, we're going to fill in some Easter eggs, so we'll see if they're only good for coloring like really small areas or big large areas also. So I'm just letting that absorb. I really want you guys to comment below and let me know what you guys think of these markers. If you have them, what you think of them. All right. So you definitely have to let it sit on that. This is a really pretty pink. I have to do that again because there's not enough on there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like barely touching. You can see some of the tip turning pink though. This color is really pigmented. The rest of these are pretty light. This one's really, really bright. But I want to get a softer gradation. So once again, if you want like a really soft light, I don't know, like these, these look like they're going to be really hard to get the look I want. Like I'm really going to have to probably play with these a lot. If I want like a middle tone. Because it quickly changes. Alright, so while that one is doing, we'll do this one so we could do this a little faster. Let's take the tip off the this one. I don't know how I feel about these pens, guys. 
Like, to me, personally, this is just too much work. Too much waiting time. So while that one's activating, we'll go ahead and do this one. And also, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but that tip is not very strong. It already seems like it's bending. So I think that you have to be very careful with these. I don't know, guys. These are kind of uh, dud to me. They're cool, like, to play with, but I don't think that I would be doing really big projects with these. See, this one feels like it's already running out of ink. It doesn't seem like most, a lot of that got on there. So while that's... Absorbing that blender ink or whatever you want to call it. Let's open up this blue pack. Which it already seems like it's been open already. I don't know if I'll keep these guys. So I do want to make sure that this does have the two. And it does. I'm going to grab another. Well, I'll just do it down here on the bottom. Let's see if this one's ready now. But do you guys see how long you have to wait just to get that light variation of it? So I let that one sit a long time and this one's going... Like, no purple's coming out. These are running out of ink already. Like, look at how scratchy that is. Can you guys see that scratchiness? These are a no for me, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you think that this is a good buy... Or is it a dud? So these are all the swatches from the floral set. Let me put a... Let's just write... Floral sets. Okay, what is this one called? These are our blue tones. So we have BG... Three, which is turquoise. Okay, so they actually have the color name on the bottom. I didn't notice that. Let me just go ahead and get these activated. So I don't have to wait. Let's stick one there. This one is BG1 Lagoon. That looks like a cool color. Let me just get these... I'm sticking them in a cup right here. I know some of my watchers have these. I really am interested to know what you guys think about these. So the first one... BG3 Yeah, these seem like they're just 
running out of ink. Wow. Okay, so that one definitely lasted a long time. But once again, look at that scratchiness. There. Can you guys see that? You can see the lines. Here it was just a really nice coverage. Okay, let's do BG1. Jeez, is there anything in here? So these blue ones are definitely a no for me, but I think it's because these were previously opened. So they probably were already used. I'm returning these for sure. Here's BL2. Seems like a really light blue. There's like nothing coming out of these guys. Look at this. That's done for. That's crazy. I should have really paid attention to that though. Let's see if the fine even the bullet lip, bullet nib is just out of there. I put the wrong cap on these. Guys, these are a no for me. Like, seriously. I am not happy with these. I'm putting the wrong caps on them. It's just too much with these. Seriously. BL2. It's too much recapping them and so many different pieces. Let's. I don't want to bust out another paper, but I might have to. This looks like a really nice color. Hopefully, it has some ink in there. See, it's just so much. Like, look at all these different caps. You got to be careful you don't pull off the wrong one. All right, BL4 here. And then here we'll squeeze BL7. I'm not going to leave these that long. This is a really nice color. It's really dark, but it's still a little scratchy. You guys have to make sure you cap these on the right way. You don't mistakenly put it back on the blender. Let's try BL4, which is cornflower blue. Now I see why they put those extra nibs. Because I could already tell that I'm going to have to replace these. 
because they're very, very delicate. Like that's a really pretty blue. All right, guys. So that is those are the chameleon markers, the blue set and the floral set. My first impressions. I don't like them, to be honest. Let me find a blender. And let me try to do the same thing with one of my Copics. I'm just going to touch the tips. This one's like really... Let's try this out. See if we can get that same... I barely use my blenders. No. Probably gotta leave it longer, but I don't wanna mess up my markers. Should have probably used one of those touch ones. So if you want to get that gradient effect with your Copics, I would actually tap the two and just color with the blender, to be honest. I think that that will work better than going ahead and using the Copics instead, because Copics are very juicy. And I can't say that about these chameleon markers that I have. They don't seem juicy at all. All right, so let's go ahead and go to this illustration because I don't know, I'm kind of upset about these markers. So I just kind of wanted to sketch out some Easter eggs with you guys. I thought it would be cool to try these out. So all I did was tape with washi tape a piece of this B paper, this marker paper that we were just watching on. And I've taped it to a cardboard. One of the backs of one of my sketchbooks that are done for. And right now, guys, I'm just using a cold erase pencil that I love to sketch with. Let's add another one here. So I really don't think that I would get like a, be able to fill a really large area with these markers. Cause they honestly don't seem that juicy to me. And the tip is just really small in my opinion. So I don't know if it will give me the coverage that I want but I think that I will try one out I'm gonna try to fill a whole egg with one <coughs> oh, excuse me guys <coughs> um, I don't know maybe as I play along with these and I continue to um experiment with them i might it might just be a lear learning curve 
And I might end up liking them. I don't know. So let's go ahead and I'm going to try to fill in one of these. Um, let's use this PK4. I like that color. PK4. Where are you? So I'm going to let that sit. And as that's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, draw some designs. Wrong pencil. So I think that's set pretty good. Let's try to fill in. I don't know. I feel like this one's way too big. Let's try it. So. So I don't really see any gradation. I'm going to kind of leave this area open a little because I'm going to go ahead and put that blender back on for longer. I'm gonna let that sit for a while. So I would suggest if you guys pick those markers up at Michael's, definitely make sure that the package has not been tampered with. Because I think that's the, what the case was with that blue pack. Yeah, there we go. These are really hard to get a smooth, I guess, in the way that I color. I wouldn't recommend these for filling in really huge, big areas. All right, I'm just going to color, guys. I'm going to let that one sit and I'll do the gradient on these lines.
going to let that one blend out for the middle part. Let's do this blue. So I would suggest turning it and then trying to do your gradient. So it's really hard for me to get a nice gradation with these. So I'm gonna try starting off dark and then going a little light. That didn't work. That's it. Let's go with this pink one, I guess. Let's try these. I thought this was supposed to be the mauve color. I did let that blender sit for quite a long time though. Alright, so I laid this flat there, like the, on the side, and it didn't. So I would suggest that you guys stand them up. Guys, I'm not happy with these markers. Like, not at all. I really am not. This is supposed to be the mauve color. I guess I left that blender too long. Let me try mixing this. So now I see a little of the purple coming back. That looks really cool. I mixed the purple with the blue. So some of that purple is coming now. I 
do with this cap. Guys, these caps are really hard to like keep track of. Let's see this blue. There we go. Definitely have to change the way you co probably color with these. Where is this top? These caps are really hard to keep up with, guys. Let's try to do another one a solid color. I'm gonna do the lavender. I'm gonna let that. Is that the right color? And let's try cornflower blue. guys i just really wanted to unbox these with you guys and give you guys my first impressions maybe it's just a learning curve i have to keep playing with these once again but i don't think i will waste my money on these I'm going to start from dark to light with these. I know I keep repeating myself. But I'm just really trying 
to work with these and you just have to have a lot of patience with these markers. Oh, definitely say that. I'm gonna mix some of that pink with that. All right, lavender's been sitting for a while. Let's see. Yeah. It's just so hard to tell how long to leave them to get the color you want. Just trying to get a really nice gradient here. All right, that's the best I could do.
I don't know. These aren't no for me. Right now, I'm just really trying to make my picture look presentable. Because I am not happy. With these markers. As regular markers, like without the chambers and all that, I think that this, this ink is really nice and pigmented. And I think the concept was really nice. But it's just too difficult. Requires too much patience for me. So right now, guys, I'm just really trying to make this look decent. What color was that? BB2. Those are my little eggs. Let me do a shadow. BG1. Let's make a shadow for these guys. These are no for me. I'm gonna keep saying that. Because the more I color with them, the more I think that they're no. I just feel like there's so many other mark these are just way priced way too high for all the trouble you gotta go through. And that's just my opinion, guys. I'm gonna let that blend out. Hello. And let's do a color for the backgrounds. Let's do V02. And 
then I'm actually going to try to blend that out. So I really want to layer this bottom part because I want it to get darker. I want to try to get a nice gradation without the hassle of this blender chamber, whatever you, you call it. All right, now I'll go ahead and activate it with the blender. See, the wait time is just... I just don't have patience for it. This one's been sitting on the blender for a little while. Those colors come back, so you just have to be very careful. So I definitely wouldn't suggest trying to color a really big space with these markers. You'll have to keep... Sorry about that guys, I just got a phone call to interrupt in my life. Let me know if you guys can see. So I can't get a really nice gradient with these so I'm just going to go ahead and mix the colors. So I'm going to darken this and I'm going to try my best to PK to I'm going to try my best my best to blend these together. This has to be like my worst marker drawing ever. And guys, maybe it's because, you know, I am drawing like I did, like I do with my Copics. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay this color down. I'm returning these to Michaels. Because I'm not going to be bothered with these markers. Let me know in the comment section when you guys watch this video. Right now I'm live. Not too many people. We're on this live. So I know a lot of you guys are going to see this later. After I publish it. So just let me know what you guys think of these markers. I wanted to go live because I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion and first impressions. But I just really think for this plot, this price... There's so many other alcohol-based markers that you can get. So I really think that I'm going to go ahead and return these. Exchange them for something else, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep them. has to be like my worst 
illustration. I'm really trying to make it look decent. I can't wait to see the comments from this video. Like, I really want to know what you guys think of these. So, I'm just mixing two colors here. I'm not even doing that blender chamber stuff because it's just not working for this large area. that bad the illustration but definitely not my best let me mix some of this other colors I want to deepen this But yeah, these markers, guys, they just really threw me off. I'm going to go ahead and try to salvage this. I'm just so used to with alcohol markers getting like a really nice blend. And with these, it's really hard, especially when you're doing, when you're trying to fill in larger areas. This one's completely like dried out. My son is going crazy upstairs. I gotta get off here soon, guys. I'm just really trying to salvage this piece. dry did I even color this no kind of want to leave it like that but can you guys see like I really could not it was so hard to get a nice blend with these markers with that blender like or whatever you call that thing <sighs> let me add some sparkle to this Gonna use my mermaid markers. I'm 
I've never tried mermaid markers over alcohol based markers and they kind of lay funny on top of them some of my sparkle pens this one is from I think Spectrum Noir it's a gold color you guys know how much I love gold some gold to this too. Here. I'll add it here. get my silver this is actually clear I don't know if this doesn't seem very silver Try this clear one. Oh, that's a lot. I'm almost gonna glitter this whole thing. If you guys can see that. Let me find another mermaid marker.
All right, guys, so that's it for this picture and this video. Let's take off the tape. stuff just leaked everywhere. I'm gonna try to clean that up really quick. Oh no. I'm gonna clean that up with a white paint marker. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait to hear you guys' comments below. Let me know your feedback on how, what do you guys think about these chameleon markers. For me, they are a no. A big fat no. I wouldn't buy these again. Definitely would not. But again, I'm really curious to know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you. Bye. Enjoy your Easter. Happy Easter to everyone. <laughs>